I'm Lee. Oh, and I'm Nathan. Hey. And for you, it's, it's well, it's that time of year, right? It's the end of the year, and we've got a special review. Yes. Of uh, our most popular pedals, amps, and bases of 2021. Absolutely. Yeah, as chosen. Well, chosen by you, but bought by you. So thank you very much. So um, yeah, enjoy. Stick with us, and yeah, we'll go to the pedals first. Thing. Yeah. Let's do it. Here we are. Here we are. Our, our, our most popular. Uh, bass pedals of 2021. Absolutely, yeah, lovely little selection. So yeah, Mark Bass, uh, yeah, Mark Vintage Pro. We've got the little uh, Behringer here, the BDI. I love that title, BDI. Uh, BDI. And uh, yeah, Dark Glass, Micro Tubes, B7K. This is a, in particular an anniversary edition, just a limited run, but um, this pedal's been around for a while. But yeah, these are the selection, the most popular of this year. Interesting, because we've got sort of both ends of the scale, quite literally, haven't we? <laughs> Really, these two are around three hundred pounds. Yeah, this one's just under thirty. Wow! So it'll be interesting. Do, and actually, the, for the three of the top bass pedals, they're all preamps as well. Yes, like, it's just strange, isn't it? but there we yeah, go. They, they've all got DI outs uh, to varying sort of degrees. Yes. Uh, so yeah, you can use them just as standalone preamps. Right? Yeah, yeah. So you can just take this out to a gig as you as you want it if you want. So uh, right. Well, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's have this. a quick. Oh, we're just going to have a quick listen. We're not going into massive detail. Yes. So we haven't got time, and that's not really the point. Um, no. It's just to give you a flavour of what they do, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And if you want the full details, all the specs will be below in links below. So just check them out if you want extra details. So, but no further ado, let's get started. Mark base. Mark base on. <laughs> Thank you. How, well, how are you finding that? It's great. I know it just sounds a little bit fuzzy so far, but I mean, um, it's really, really good. I mean, um, I like that the, you've got like the three responses, so there's kind of set EQs to play with first, and then you've got yeah, all of this. Yeah, what does it say? Flat and old? Yeah, that is the extreme. I found my pedal. <laughs> <laughs> there's one in the middle. It's like a little scoopy thing. I guess that is, say, more of a scooped EQ. <laughs> I'll give you the scooped bit. Yeah. Um, flat, scooped, and old yeah. um, are your settings there. Um, but yeah, yeah, absolutely, just a quick run through. Headphones, obviously, you can go in if you want to practice just to yourself. It is, um, it's feature packed, I'll give it, it that. It really is. It's got um, all sorts of stuff. It's even got an, a digital out I saw on the back. Oh mate, love it. Optical out, oh, digital, yeah. you can even select, you've got 44.1, 48 or 96 K out on it. You've got a phono out for that too. Right. Okay. As an effect return. Yep. DI, uh, yeah, I think you've got a ground lift on it. Let's grab it, say boost section. I pl played that a little bit in there. You'll notice that just that little raising volume. Anything else over there? Uh, no, you've got another send. Oh, so, so send yeah, so return, okay. Yeah. But, uh, it's very, well, mm, like I say, packed full of features. Big chunky bit. I don't think we've ever we haven't covered this on the channel, but I would say it's pretty new, but this um, well, obviously- I guess we should. Yeah, it's got pretty popular this year. It's overtaken us, so. Uh, All right, well, we'll look at that in more detail another time. Absolutely. Okay, so Thank you, Mark Bears. Right, we have Behringer BDI. Right, okay. What's that, what's that gonna do for us? Let's start it all flat. 
And we are, so just to give you a heads up, these are all kind of similar units as we said. So they all do a similar thing, but hopefully you'll be able to tell it's you know, their own kind of tonal characteristics between them. Obviously so. preamps are the big thing at the moment, right? Very and, popular. But, yeah, that's it, yeah. And it's, it must be, say some of the times, say people going out with less and less kit, you know, less amps, less big cabs and things. and. Just a small little pedalboard set up with one of these and you're, you're ready to go, aren't you? So, Sign of the times. Absolutely. <laughs> what a dude. Well, there you go. It just play, play, makes you play a random load of nonsense. <laughs> no. Why not? The, the Behringer BDI. Um, the BDI. The BDI. I, man, BDI. I don't. It's a good bit of kit for. I, mean, I, I can't afford it for. How much is it? 26 pounds. 26 quid? 26 pounds. What? Um, I mean, so you've got some of the features that you've got in this. Obviously, you um, uh, blend, so you're blending the, the signal, uh, the clean signal with the signal from this as well. Yeah. Um, drive section, which you can, say, just manipulate as you go for how yeah. heavy you want. You've got the DI um, out. So yeah. you've got a ground lift on it. Indeed. Amazing. 26 quid. <laughs> what else can it's you not, say? And also, you know, it's quite robust. It is. Yeah. It's all right, yeah. isn't it? And again, yeah, anyway, yeah, 26 pound. That is the Behringer. No wonder that's popular. Yeah, too right. All right. And last but not least, yep. we have Dark Gloss. These lovely little people there. Okay. So uh, there's a little bit a little bit involved in this. So I will, I think this is EQ and, oh yeah, some switches as well. So yeah, I'll just have a play around. Hope you enjoy. Dark Gloss. See what this does. Here we go then. Whee! <laughs> I didn't have enough notes. <laughs> How's that one go? Thank you. 
I, I, I like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are well, you digging that? Yeah, I'm I mean, not like you're enjoying that. There, there's a little bit more to play around. I'm, I'm um, again. I, I apologise. Uh, look below for all the proper specs, <laughs> but I'm just going on on the fly. But there's a lot you can do between these two different uh, toggle switches up here. Different combinations uh, giving uh, completely different so tones, and then you can work the EQ along with that as well. But cool. um, oh man, I mean that. I mean straight off the bat, these two either ends seem that like they're. They're geared more into the overdrives and distortions to, to my ear as sure. well. Um, uh, but so you can smooth them both out as well to just be a nice clean EQ for you as well, you know. So, All right. uh, yeah, lovely stuff. Amazing. So they, well, there we they go. have it. They're, they're the, the three sort of most popular three pedals. Uh, yeah. Pedals of 2021. Um, any, if you had to assemble them in order, <gasps> oh, third, uh, that, second. That first. That. There you go. But uh you? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a look at amps. Okay, so now we have the uh, most popular top three amps of 2021. Yes. Uh, we got some familiar faces here. We do, yes, and new boys on the block. Yeah, so there's uh, the Fender Rumble 100 over there, yeah, classic. Uh, with Ampeg RB115, which is uh, a, a new boy on the block, but it's, uh, yeah, another amazing combo. And we have the little Warwick gnome head here. So um, we're putting it through this cab, but it's just the head we're talking about, really. So, oh, uh, right. Yes. Well, so, without further ado, I'm going to jump around the back. Ah, oh, wicked, okay. And you can have a play, and I'll go through these amps. Lovely stuff. Quite briefly, just to see what they do. No problem. So and up, uh, we've got a Fender Rumble 100. Um, yeah, we're, we're DI'ing this, um, so you just get the DI, so you see what the preamp does. Yep. Um, Mr. Maestro, please. Love do it. Do your thing. Oh, cool. cool. So uh, that's great. That's got loads of features on it. Yeah. Uh, a separate drive channel. Um, it's got a little bright button, a contour switch to make it nice, smiley face EQ. A little vintage thing there to make it sound old and crap. <laughs> um, so loads of things on the back. We've got effects in and return, aux in, phones out, Lovely. foot switch for the drive channel. What's not to like about that? Nice. 309 pounds. There we go. Sold to the man in the hat. <laughs> <laughs> With no further ado, uh, yes. very similar specs on this one. These are, and uh, you might have seen our previous video on, we actually did a shootout between these uh, these two amps because they're similar actually. And if you haven't seen it, why haven't you seen it? Pause this, go and watch that, and then come back. I'm wasting my time. <laughs> right. So, yes, here we go then. But they, they are, sort of, yeah, rivaling these because they're both lightweight combos. So, um, but yeah, here we go. And peg. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sweet. Now, so I say similar specs, very different sound actually, much more it, the Ampeg sound. Too right. Than yeah. you're used to. Uh, in the room it's a little bit different because I think mm. we've got a... Who's in here? I think that's a 115 as well. I don't... Th no? Do you? I don't think so. Uh, right, uh, yes, yeah, this one uh, is a... Uh, a one uh, 12 inch eminence speaker this mm -hmm. one's got a 15 yes also uh, eminence i believe it is indeed yes uh, okay so you know different speaker uh come sizes yes um, yeah but uh, that's not necessarily going to affect what you're hearing di'd no um, but you know very much the ampeg sound yeah i've got that typical ampeg um ultra high ultra low thing going yeah, on man nice little feature very nice uh, I, I like the drives on both they're both very different but yeah. i like them both uh, there you go. And uh, as with the Fender, we've got headphones, we've got aux in. Beautiful. We've got, oh, an extension speaker on this one. Oh. Another cab. Yep. Uh, you've got a switch for the drive on and off and an effect center return and a ground uh, lift on the DI. Should you so Lovely desire. stuff. So that's very Thank nice. Thank you, Doug. Yeah. Ground lift on the Fender as well. Forgot to mention that. Beautiful. Now, right, uh, little last, Nomi. certainly not least, because we had a, we also did a review on this. Um, yes, yes. We, we did a little mini amp review didn't we yeah that's another um, one in the book this i think the ashdown ant and the little we, elf the trace elliot elf the trace elliot elf yeah I, I think we re i remember we really like this yeah yeah because um, it's really dinky look it's tiny yeah really tiny nice though robust nice metal yep. case on it um but it's got like usb out so you could plug it literally straight into your your computer yeah just use it as a recording interface yeah There's, it, yeah, there's a yeah, few extra little features in this as well. It's really sweet. Um, and it's 200 watts. Yeah. Right? We've got That's it going it. through this Gensler cab. Yep. You can put it, pair it with any cab you like, really. Yep. Um, uh, let's have a listen, right? Let's do it. bells and whistles obviously but look at the size of it i know you stick it in your lunchbox you really well yeah absolutely you can like, put it in a gig bag stick it in the front of your gig bag that's it you're yep. off done uh di out ground lift uh speaker out there um yeah i mean what's not so right. like um and right. the price I, I said this one was 309 yep 309 we've got 499 499 and this little 169 169 for that 200 watt amp that's absolutely tiny then yeah Great shout. So, uh, yeah, no wonder that is very popular. Absolutely. So there you go. There we go. That, that's our, our, our top three. Put it in order. What put you? it in order. Put oh, on. now Your you turn. put me on the spot. Well, you know I like to sit on the fence, <laughs> as well as the arm of this sofa. Um, <laughs> Thought yeah. you walked funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is obviously, you can't compare this with this, because this is a little head, and yep. different specs. I love this. Yeah. I think it's brilliant. I can see why it's so popular. Definitely. Great value for money really sounds lovely yep. sounds really nice um these also great uh, you you can't go wrong with the fender rumbles they always sound so nice i love the distortion on it but also if you want an ampeg sound you know you can't you can't beat that no um, you know for, for again for the money so i'm totally on the fence they're yeah. all great like it ah! like it ah! next <laughs> Hi. Hello there. I remember you. I know. From Where have you been? Programs is all about the bass. Uh, yes. So, um, so here we have the top uh, most popular. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Be careful how I word this. Most popular uh, bases of 2021. Yes, well, the indeed. Most popular three, anyway. Yeah, and um, and some newcomers, some some uh, slightly. Lesser newcomers, like yeah, but, yeah. Well, you know, we, we have um, looked at these, haven't we? This is yes. the, the Player Plus Fender Player Plus series, uh, yes. top of the line, active uh, Mexican. 
Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's not basically. actually particularly that finish, just like we say, like it's it just the range in general has been, yes. been um, yeah, so, so popular very, very for popular. us. So uh, we thought we'd grab this one. It's yeah. Bel Air uh, Blue. Uh, our old friend, the Sign V7. Seven. Yes, yes, this has come up again. One of the best selling of the year. I mean, but yeah, it, again, just can't keep enough of these for the money. They really are <laughs> just... Great build quality. Unbelievable, yeah. Great sound with that premium. Yep. And a great price, right? So yes, absolutely. No wonder it's still popular. Nope, 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 nope. And look, what's this? <sighs> look, a bit of a newcomer, but uh, yeah, this is the Dingwall D Rock. Dingwall. Dingwall D Rock, which uh, yeah, a bit of a standout, standout for for the last couple of years. Obviously modelled on a familiar Gibson base, you know, style. Look at that finish. Um, but yeah, man, look at that. I mean, it's that's outrageous. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. I mean, it's super sleek as well. Just feel it from the side here. If you could get sort of matching boots to go with that, <gasps> and a hat. knee length boots, you'd be. <laughs> the bell of the ball, I was going to say, but well, yeah, you might be out of the party pretty quickly as well. But yeah. um, but yes, yes. Look, so our, our three top three for the year. So um, would well, you like to show the people what that sounds like? Well, I will. Yes, yeah. yeah. Won't go into massive detail, but I'll just show you quickly what we've got. Yeah, uh, it's normal jazz bass, uh, jazz bass setup with the addition of an 18 volt preamp. Yes, um, you know, probably to catch up with. Other players in the market, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> uh, possibly, and uh, yeah, you've got concentric uh, a pot here with treble and bass on it. This is the active EQ side and EQ, uh, EQ uh, mid uh, cut and boost. It's been a long day, <laughs> uh, and uh, pick up sweep there. So uh, let's have a little listen, see what it does. Yes. Uh, back pick up. <laughs> Front pick up. Both together. Bit of EQ on there. There you go. Oh, That's what that one man. does. That does sound great. That's a great. I what mean, does your one do? Right. Yes. So active as well. Yeah. As you were saying, 18 volt preamp in this as mm -hmm. well. Um, yep. Uh, scoping your sound with this. The only additional thing this has that the the, the Fender player there doesn't have. You you can actually select the mid frequency. So um, oh. that you want to boost or cut, okay. which is pretty handy. But other than that, also you've got a passive tone control on that <gasps> one too. Bang on, mate. Bang mm. on. Yes, that absolutely. When you put it into passive mode, you can still actually use this as an overall tone. So, yeah, it's nice passive feature. tone and it works for the active as well. So, uh, yes, this is what it sounds like. So, this is uh, towards the back pickup with just a little bit boosted on each of the EQ points. I'll help you out. Go on, you oh, thank it. you. <laughs> That is that was the mid frequency selection switch. Like, yeah, you could that whole scope. I'm sound. available. I'll come around. <laughs> you pay me enough. I'll come around and do that while you're playing. <laughs> Be like a, a human wah pedal. Yes. Great, eh? Man, what like, tones? Yeah, but absolutely. we know we we've oh, we we talked about it already. We do. We love them. And what, what about this beast? I know. Yeah. So yeah, the ding ding. So this is we see like three pickup like soap bar pickup design as it were. Um, now I can't off the top of my head the combinations. You've got four switches there which are a different combination of those pickups. But basically there is one that is all on at the same time. One's just back. I think one also blends just a couple of them. Well, um, let's, come on, give me yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you do it. You give me that. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's let's wow. see what happens. I haven't had a go on this yet. This is great. 
Sorry. Okay, right. So, so we've got three knobs. Three knobs. This is a rotary selector in the middle that one. That must be volume. Must be. Knobs. Hey. This we got. Uh, oh, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Four way thing. And a tone. And a tone. What could be simpler? I love it. Right, do, do your thing. Do something. Okay. Uh, Fantastic. I mean, for your modern bass tones, I mean, crikey, that, that's, that's got a, a few in there, right? Matt, too, right. And, and say, just right straight away, right, especially putting next to jazz basses as well. Yeah. Completely its own own thing. Very, very different sound. Yeah. Uh, and a very different look. Yeah, too right. You've got to love it, right? <laughs> it looks, how cool is that? And then he swore then. It looks great. But it's nice. great, very, very nice. No yeah. swearing. No swearing, no swearing. We're it's right Christmas. today. We're doing all right today. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> V7. Yeah. Just under 600 quid. What? Five, 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 nine. Wow. Just to give you an idea. 949 for the Fender Jazz uh, Player <laughs> Plus. <laughs> a Bel Air Blue. And 1699 for this absolute beast. So, um, but yeah, we don't have to tell you that because apparently you've been buying these like nothing. Hot so, cakes. Uh, yes. Oh, oh, we can we... see why because they're all lovely, right? They are, man. Absolutely. All yeah. lovely bases. Yeah, too, right? Yeah. So there you go. That's, well, that, that is our, our roundup. That was the year. <laughs> That was the year. Uh, our top, uh, yeah, our top pedals, amps, and bases yeah. of 2021. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, you can join us next year and we're doing a similar thing. Yes. Hopefully, we'll still be here. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a bit of positive thing for you. <laughs> stay positive, everyone. Yes. And uh, happy new year. Yes. And uh, all stay well out there. And uh, we'll see you on the other side. Yeah. Well, best for 2022. Ta-ta. Bye. Bye.